Hey everybody, it's Zahava. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you are new here, I am Zahava and I, I run a small business from my house and I make uh, really bad art. So welcome. Everybody is welcome here. Um, <laughs> and let's just get right into today's video. So I haven't uh, spoken to you guys for a while about what I've been up to lately. Um, what you see here are these signatures for a junk journal that I've been currently working on. Um, obviously, I did not cut this down. So I'm I'm still in the process, like I've made the signatures and I am going to be working on this junk journal here, which is the Pokey Little Puppy. This is one of, I think, two, maybe three copies that I have of this book, but it's not a vintage copy. It's one of these like more modern ones, which is fine. I ended up with this one because I made another probably ill-advised uh, trip to the Montreal bins and I picked up there a, a couple of other uh, golden books uh, aside from this one, which uh, is the uh, which are rather the Flying is Fun book. And then now I have a third copy of uh, of this French one right here, La Fête des Écureuils. So um, I that's fine for me because the French ones are really expensive and really hard to find. And if I can find them in the thrift store, especially when it's going to cost me like 35 cents, um, I'm definitely going to take that home, like for sure. Okay, but in today's video, we are actually not going to be looking at the rest of the crafting of the Pokey Little Puppy, so I'm actually going to tuck that away. Um, as you could probably guess by the title of today's video, um, I did want to take you through um, my glue book. Uh, which is something new that I've been working on. Um, I stumbled across Relax Cut Glue, a lady by the name of Nicole here on YouTube, and she does like amazing glue book videos. I did not know this was a medium. I did not know this was a thing. And I just wanted to show you guys where I am with my glue book. But before I do that, uh, if you've been here before, I did talk to you about picking up at the bins. Do you guys remember those, um, I think I actually have them kind of handy. So let me just shuffle around here. Do you guys remember that I had these books that I had picked up from the um, thrift store and I said that I wanted to maybe turn some of the images into in these books into journaling cards with you guys? Like I was gonna back them on these like colored file folders that I got at the same, when I did like the same thrift haul. And I was going to do that with you guys on camera. Well, I did them off camera, but that's fine. That's something that I'm still going to do on camera with you guys. But I wanted to give you an idea of what it was that I was talking about. So just very quickly, I have been working on these little journaling cards. And um, that's something that we will do probably in the next video. But that's what I've been up to basically lately while you guys have been you know, um, going about your lives, that's what I've been doing with mine. I'm also uh, collecting, as per usual, a, a steady pile of straight scraps. So we're going to have to definitely go ahead and make that washi tape, a faux washi tape uh, paper video eventually. But that's not what we're here to do today. Today, I just want to show you my glue book. I, I, I can't remember if I've shown you this before on camera. If I have, it'll be an update. If you're new here, it'll be the first time you've seen it. So um, I just wanted to show you that because since I'm going through, as you guys know, if you've been here before this art journey, the glue book has kind of been a uh, part of that. It helps me when I have my coffee in the morning. It helps me to like have something to do with my hands. Um, and if I'm sitting and watching TV, quite honestly, it helps me to not snack. <laughs> not because I'm gluing, but because like Eric and I, as you know, <laughs> if you've been paying attention, we're a cancer Taurus couple. I, I sit on the couch with him and it's more likely that I will absorb his habits than he will absorb mine. And if you know anything about, you know, astrology, you will understand why that is so, but I won't get into it on this channel. But suffice it to say that it's much more easy for me to, um, for me to like take on his habits than for him to take on mine. So if he sits around and snacks and has like a whole bowl of pretzels or something, you know, on, uh, as we're watching TV and just hanging out on the sofa, um, 
every evening, it's very easy for me to want to have those snacks too. So um, glue booking has kind of helped me to sit down and sit and like cut and do something with my hands, which prevents me from snacking essentially, which I really appreciate because I am 42 <laughs> and I'm kind of sedentary, more sedentary than I'd like to be. And I think that that has a lot to do with the fact that I'm in Canada and, uh, you know, just getting outside for four to six months of the year can be quite daunting because it's really cold here. And I'm actually in pretty much like I'm not in BC, I'm in Montreal and it can be pretty mild here. It's not like it is out in Alberta which is like the Texas, I guess, of Canada, <laughs> but it's like really cold up there. We're not at that latitude. So, um, you know, it could be pretty mild in Montreal. We're pretty much at sea level. I think we're like 200 feet for uh, people in the U.S. that want to know how close we are to, to sea level. We're about 200 feet. We're at sea level. So, um, so yeah, so basically it keeps me busy. It keeps me from uh, snacking and uh you know, with um, COVID and that, like, you know, we've all put on some unwanted weight and I'm trying to curb that, um, that, you know, weight gain arc at the same time as I'm, I'm going through all of this, you know, like mental and emotional sort of purging. So let's, let's get into this book. Now, I can't remember if I've talked about this book or not on camera. If I have, I'm sorry, feel free to skip this video and come back to a next one. But, um, for those of you who are interested and for those of you who are new, I do know that Slipknot is some sort of a band. Eric told me that. Um, I think maybe I spoke to you guys about this book when I got the initial thrift haul, but I don't think I ever showed you the glue book on camera. Okay, so I do want to go into it. Um, uh, let's just do it. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> if you guys are glue bookers out there, please, please, please leave your comments in the um, description box below. Subscribe to this channel if you're new for more shenanigans. Like the video and all that stuff. Okay, let's get into it. Shut up, Zava. Okay, we're going to go through this. So um, I've been taking like some inspiration from Nicole, uh, who does like to put like cut out eyes and lips and you know, all kinds of other things. And as I was new to this medium, I didn't really know like what kinds of things I would like to pull out from magazines. I do love magazine paper. Can I just tell you guys this? I am such a fan of uh, magazine paper. I hope you guys can see everything. I'll just talk and I'll go through it real slow so you guys can see like what I have here. But I'm a huge fan of magazine paper because it's just like so, so satisfying when you're sitting around and you're cutting. And um, to be honest with you, I did go to the thrift store to pick up a whole bunch of magazines in order to uh, do this project because I did not want to go to the thrift store. Well, actually, I should say I went to the bins to pick up the magazines to do this project because at the thrift stores that I went to, the um, magazines were $1.50 each, and I didn't want to pay that much to cut them up. I wanted to... Um, let me see if I can bring you in a little bit more. Is that too much? Okay, no, I think that that's okay. Maybe you're cut off a little bit, but let me see if I can, um, I don't know. I had a zoom on my camera, but I think I don't know how to do that. No, I think I'm just going to leave it like this, guys. <laughs> okay, I'll pull it out a bit more. Oh no, I don't know how to use the zoom function on the camera. Is this better? Okay, let's leave it this way so you can see everything. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to pay that much at the thrift store because they were like $1.50 and I'm like $1.50 if I'm just going to cut it up and throw it away to me felt like a lot of money. So, um, so I went ahead and bought these magazines at the thrift and I've been just trying to like harvest the magazines, take out things like brands that I like or words that I like. But most of the magazines that I've been able to find at the bins were like French magazines. And a lot of them were food related. So I, I didn't really have, as I was just starting, because I don't know if I mentioned this before in the video, but it is my first glue book. Like I have never done this before. I didn't know that glue booking was a thing. So I just kind of cut out what I thought looked really easy to cut. And um, I'm not a super good fussy cutter either. Like as you can see, if you if you guys are fussy cutters, you'll probably find this, you know, particularly triggering because 
I don't really do well when it comes to like fussy cutting and that kind of thing. And we are going to be doing a fussy cutting video. It's probably going to come out sometime this week, or rather, we're going to film it sometime this week as I'm filming this video. We are March 13th today. And I'm getting better with like, you know, showing you guys my, um, my videos like on a more regular schedule, but I'm always afraid I'm going to run out of content. And then like that, there's nothing that like scares me more than the idea of running out of content. But basically I have to deal with whatever is in the magazines that I'm able to find. And uh, not knowing if I'm going to stick with this project long term, I was hesitant to pick up some of the free magazines that people wanted to give away on Facebook Marketplace because I'm like, I do not need, nor do I want to start collecting, nor do I have the space for a pile, like a huge, huge pile of magazines that I may never get to. So um, if I, I promised myself that if I could make it through the stack of magazines that I paid for and I still wanted to glue book after, and we're talking like I still have about another 20 or so to go through, which is insane. Um, I, yeah, I then I will, you know, continue to uh, glue book. And as you can see in this glue book, it's really quite random. Hopefully the glare off the camera is not too bad for you guys. Maybe if I pick it up, it's like a little bit better. But um, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't have any themes really. I just sort of start with like my process and we can do a video on that. If you want, just let me know in the comments below. But like my process thus far has been like to take the bigger uh, pieces, like you'll see more in the back. Um, I'll just skip forward and then I like put them down first and then I'll put like smaller pieces on top of it. So that's sort of been the process. And as you can see, like there's quite a bit of white space. Um, and I don't know that I actually mind having all this white space. Like I'm not someone that needs to necessarily put a background down. Um, I know that some glue bookers do like to put a background down, but you know, I'm not someone that absolutely, absolutely needs to have um, all the spaces covered in my glue book. I'm actually not afraid of white spaces and clearly I am afraid of like glue. So <laughs> what happened here? This, uh, we're going to have to do, we're going to have to do a bit of surgery people because the glue came undone. So, um, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not somebody that is afraid of having white space, but you know, sometimes when you cut out like smaller things, um, my Aussie friends will recognize this brand. <laughs> I should say that when I was in Australia in November, I picked up a magazine at Woolies and I went through that magazine as well and cut up some stuff from the Woolies magazine. So this Gravox roast meat gravy and traditional gravy um, came from Woolies, <laughs> the Woolies magazine. Uh, yeah, so you might recognize some of your, um, like the twirls and things like that, like this cadmium. Cadbury Christmas Classics, that's that's also from that Woolies Christmas edition. The uh, green magazine cover that you guys may have seen at Woolies this past Christmas. So that's that's where it came from. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm i actually really liking this. You know, it's random. It's just my first glue book. I haven't, uh, I think that I don't, I don't really like the idea myself personally of like doing themes because then again, like that's very restrictive. And if you know me, if you've been here for a minute, if you know me even a little, you will know that restriction, <laughs> I don't like boundaries. So I, I really like the, um, the messiness and the freedom of doing these kind of collage project. Um, I didn't even know it was a thing. Much like junk journals, which have been around for about 30 years or so, like I did not know that this was a thing that people could be doing until about five or so, maybe six years ago. Maybe it's four, four to six years ago. I'm not exactly sure, but... Um, and I find that as a medium very freeing as well. So as you can see, like not everything is full up here. I, I take whatever basically I can find, whatever looks interesting to me. Sometimes it's going to be bottles, not necessarily because I'm a drinker or because I like beer. I just like the lines and I think it's going to be easy to cut and I think it's going to be fast <laughs> to do and easy to glue, if that makes sense. So whatever is the laziest way to do artwork, if you like lazy art, then welcome to this channel because lazy art is what we do here. Um, at least so far. And we also, you know, try to sell. <laughs> our, we try to sell our art. Um, if you can call it that. All right. So again, like if I ever find something that would fit in this 
like space here, I would definitely put something down. But so far, this is what we have going on. And yeah, it's like really random. There's a whole bunch of brands. There's a whole bunch of foods because the magazines that I was able to get at the thrift store were all like food magazines and anything else that came out of those magazines, re, you know, in terms of like brands or anything else, those were all from like the ads of the magazines. So if I have a car here or if I have a, you know, the So Nice, like the soy milk and the Amarula and stuff, like that was all from uh, from brands. And here, here I took like I had a big giraffe head and then I collaged like all over it here and then I put some eyes on top of it. So I think that that gives it kind of like a cheeky look. Um, there was a children's magazine that I came across, um, again in French because that's what they had at the thrift, but that's fine. So I don't tend to take a lot of words out of the French magazines because I'm like English speaking and I would like my glue book to be more or less English, but, um, they did have like a lot of like animals in that magazine because it was kind of like, I don't, I don't want to say like a National Geographic for kids, but it was that type of magazine. So it had a whole feature, which I think we'll see like in a couple of pages. If we didn't already see them, maybe it was in this page. Yeah, it was in this page before. They had like a whole feature of, of giraffes in that, um, in that magazine. So I took uh, the animals out that I could, but you know, you, you guys, if you're fussy cutting, like, look at this. I mean, if you guys are really, really into fussy cutting and you're super good at it, this kind of thing that's happening right here, like that's going to really make you angry because even my borders are not good. And like, sometimes I don't know if I can zoom in, maybe so you can see this a little bit better, but like sometimes I will cut, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I cut like just, you know, around the borders. And then sometimes like, oops, the scissors slips. And then like, it just continues. So like, I don't know, something is like really, I don't know, I can't, I can't do it. But I don't care because it's mine and I share it with you. But like, literally nobody else is going to see this ever. <laughs> just like, however many people watch this video, but like, nobody else is actually going to see this ever. So um, not that you guys are nobody. What am I saying? <laughs> I appreciate you all. Um, yeah, so I, I'm trying to collect things like numbers and words. Like that's something I started pretty much later in the process after I had thrown a couple of magazines already in the trash. But, and also, I don't know if you guys are glue bookers out there, but how do you feel about putting things like upside down? Is that something that bothers you? Is that something you're comfortable with? I don't know how I feel about like turning things around every which way in the glue book. Um, also, I do take... Uh, images. I know that some glue bookers really don't like to take images from the uh, front and back covers of the magazines because the paper is obviously very different, but I do take it. So uh, this Le Creuset pot here is from the back cover of one of the magazines. So it's like quite a bit thicker. Um, that doesn't bother me, but I know that some people probably don't like to do it. And uh, this one here was a background and I took it because I really liked the plate um, and the design that was going on here. Again, I'm so sorry about the glare, but I really want you guys to have like a good, um, a good lighting on, on this video. And of course, this glue book is, uh, you know, something that I'm working in currently. I just actually finished gluing most of these uh images down this morning. So there's quite a bit of space that I'm still working on. And then when I get like really big images and they don't fit on certain pages, I will just go and like randomly stick them on some of the blank pages that I have, such as this one, which was kind of fussy cut and it was like a really weird shape and I didn't know what to do with it. So I just kind of stuck it down, um, on a blank page that I had, but normally I will try and like uh, you know, condense the images as much as possible. I was going to say, I think this is the end, but it doesn't look like it is. It looks like I maybe skipped some pages, which I guess I didn't realize that they were stuck together. So like, here's a wine bottle and it's relatively big. And I want to tell you, um, I'm just looking here for my ruler. All right. So, uh, the book is 11, 11 inches tall. Um, it actually, yeah, is exactly 11 and it is seven and a half. So seven and a half by 11. So it, this bottle itself, um, it's just cause it's 
it's hard to measure because the arm of the camera is like right here where the ruler is, is nine, okay? It's exactly nine inches down. So that was like a big kind of awkward bottle for me to stick down. So I just kind of stuck it. I committed to that. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to do on a blank page, but I committed to that. And I stuck it down. And then what I'll probably end up doing is just build, building around it. And this is kind of the same idea here. I will have stuck these pieces down. Now, I know that this kind of bleeds into each other here because it's like a Keurig ad and then there's this uh, wine bottle. But I think that it, what I'll end up doing is probably put something down like, you know, um, I'm just using scrap paper, but I'm not going to use that in, in the glue book, but I'll probably end up like putting something down there. So if I could find like words and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm into the glue booking, like the glue booking is, is a new thing for me. It's really fun. Um, and I will probably end up like keeping these glue books, you know, that's, that's something that I will keep. Um, and I'm just basically like going through magazines that I'm able to get at the, uh, at the thrift. So, uh, that brings us to the end of this glue book. Now, just for, um, the sake of research, uh, hang on a second. I want to weigh this, uh, because I'm starting to notice that this glue book <laughs> is getting quite heavy. So I have this like star fret, um, scale. And what I do is the reason I have this tin, you guys have asked me about this before. It's like, um, I don't know if it's a vintage tin, probably not. No, certainly not. It's made in China, but it's vintage-esque. And I probably picked this up at a thrift store, but the reason I do that is because I'm using, as you see, the Starford scale. And because it's got such a low profile because you're meant to like tear and then like weigh your contents in a bowl or whatever. Um, so I put that here so it creates a distance um, in which I can read the... Uh, weight okay read the data on the on the screen so it creates about a three inch gap so that I can kind of peek underneath and see what my packages weigh because when I'm packing envelopes uh, of fabric orders and things like that to go out which if you've seen any of my order packaging videos you'll be familiar with I tend to put things on you know that way and of course if it's too close to the uh, glass part of the scale I'm unable to read the data so that is the reason for this tin so we're gonna tear it um there you go now it's at zero and we're gonna weigh this glue book and so far we are little just just I want to say just over a pound so almost at half a kilo we are at 496 grams one pound for our Canadian friends and our you know non-imperial friends is 454 grams so um so yeah so we're just under half a kilo here so that's great 496 grams or just just over just over a pound and this is a oh Somebody is pinging me. <laughs> Probably should have muted my phone before recording this video. All right, but this is it. So this is my my glue book. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think um, about this project and uh, leave a comment in the. Boo! There's a lot of pinging happening. What's happening here? My daughter is pinging me from the other room. All right, so I'm going to go see what that is and what she wants and what she needs. And I will leave you guys here uh, and then hope that you enjoyed the video. God, outros are so awkward. <laughs> I never know what to say. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and spending some of your day with me. You know if you've stayed until the end of the video, you are my absolute favorite. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you again in the next video. Ciao for now.